Hello students, today in this video we will be talking about the density of ocean water. If you can recall in my previous video we had discussed about the temperature of ocean water and today we will be talking about the density of ocean water. Okay. So uh, students as you all know the density of pure distilled water at 4 degrees Celsius is 1 gram per centimeter cube or 1000 kilograms per meter cube. The density of sea water is 1.02677 grams per centimeter cube. That means it is slightly heavier than your pure water. What is important to mention here is that density plays a very important dynamics in ocean water. Why? Because it determines the movement of water. Generally, the lighter water would float over the heavier water. And it has been seen that with decreasing the temperature the density increases if we look at salinity of ocean water that is directly proportional to the density of ocean water that means higher the salinity higher would, would, would be the density that is obvious because higher salinity means we'll have more dissolved solutes in the ocean water so students as i was saying the density of ocean water is directly dependent on salinity, temperature as well as the pressure. How these factors, they affect the density of ocean water, that we will see let, later. But what is important to know is that the density of sea water, as I said, is 1.02677 grams per centimeter cube. So generally, it is very cumbersome to um, represent density as such. The significant part of this number is generally beyond the third decimal. The convention is to report the density as a function of uh, sigma as a function of salinity, temperature and pressure where 1 is subtracted from the density of ocean water and the resultant is multiplied by 1000. So if I say that the density of ocean water is 1.02677 grams per centimeter cube then sigma becomes 26.77. So, representing it in a number is uh, easier compared to representing it in the form of density. So, students, as I was saying, there are three factors that would control the density of ocean water. The first is temperature, the second is salinity and the third is pressure. So, as told you earlier also, temperature has an inverse relation with density. That means, if you are increasing the temperature, the density would decrease and vice versa. Okay? And... It has been seen that the density of ocean water would decrease continuously till the water freezes. And beyond that, that means once water freezes to ice, then it does not affect the density at all. Further, if we come to salinity, the salinity of ocean water is directly proportional to its density. Right? So, uh, this density is affected by salinity because we have more of solutes that are dissolving ocean water compared to the uh, uh, fresh water. So, uh, this uh, dense water or this ocean water is heavier than fresh water and the fresh water would float over this dense water. Okay. And the salinity is also affected by temperature. So, if we have higher evaporation, that means the salinity would be more and accordingly the density of ocean water would be more. Now, looking at the last factor that is pressure. Pressure can have ex uh, some effect on density by its compressive forces. But water as such is incompressible. So, pressure has very little or almost negligible effect on the density of ocean water. It can affect to uh, some uh, degrees in the trenches that are very deep. But even that is very little, not more than 5%. Okay, so students, let's have a look at this figure where you can see the distribution of density with depth. Okay, so what uh, we have seen in this is that we have three layers. The top 100 uh, to 200 meters is the surface layer. Uh, beyond that, we have a rapid slope or gradient in density that is picnocline. And after that, we have the bottom layer. This surface layer that is basically the photic zone till where the sunlight can penetrate okay so that is why we say that this is still 200 meter of depth and this surface layer it comprises about 20 percent of the total volume of ocean water 
due to thermal expansion since the sunlight reaches here the density is very low and it's a very light layer compared to rest of the ocean water and we cannot see any sharp gradient in density in this layer the next layer is pycnocline here pycno refers to density and cline refers to slope or gradient right so this layer is where we have a rapid decrease or a, a rapid change in density with depth okay so it is basically a transition zone of rapidly changing seawater density this layer it comprises about 18 percent of the total volume of ocean water and the last layer is the deep layer or the bottom layer which has a very high density water mass and comprises about 80 percent of the total mass of ocean water this deep layer it begins from about one kilometer below the surface and is reaching up to the ocean floor bed so student this was what i had to tell you about the variation of density with depth and in this video we have studied about the factors that affect the density of ocean water how ocean water is denser than fresh water and we have also seen the variation of density with depth in oceans hope you all have learned something from it thank you